Two epic space objects are about to collide and get into a nasty cosmic fight. Only one can survive. But could these two cause a serious glitch in the physics of the universe? Would it be the end for humanity? Ripped space-time, mind-blowing energy, and the shocking outcome are all part of this story. So let's dive in. A black hole is a region in space with a gravitational force so strong that even the incredibly fast particles of light cannot escape it. Their existence was first predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Just as the theory itself, the formation process of black holes is strange and terrifying. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the death of a star is the beginning of a black hole. When a massive star experiences a supernova explosion, a tiny, dense remnant core is left behind. If the mass of this core that's left behind is heavy enough, more than three solar masses, it creates such a big gravitational force that the core eventually collapses. Hence, a black hole is formed. As nothing can escape their eternal darkness, space telescopes don't observe black holes directly. Instead, they're able to detect the presence of them through the effect they have on other bodies around them. In fact, we only got to see a real-life image of a black hole first in 2019 through the eyes of the Event Horizon Telescope. Although their existence was proved long before the photo was taken, seeing the very first picture of them made it clear for everybody that black holes are real. However, we are not so sure about wormholes, which exist only based on a mathematical theory, which defines them as a passage or tunnel through the fabric of space. These bridges connect two different points, or maybe universes, in space-time, theoretically creating a shortcut that could reduce travel time and distance. The concept of wormholes excites scientists because they're considered as a potential shortcut for extended journeys across the universe, and maybe to the past or future. The easiest way to imagine a wormhole is to do it in 2D to make things a little less confusing. Given the case, you would see that our universe is bent down under itself, let's say a 10 billion light year part of it. The upper and lower layer could only be one mile from each other. However, nothing in the world can cut through that distance, but a wormhole. In reality, however, if we ever find an Einstein-Rosen bridge, it will be most likely to look like a crystal ball, and going through it would only take a few seconds. But the theory comes with a number of caveats. According to the math, wormholes are prone to sudden collapse, high radiation, and dangerous contact with exotic matter. As it was in the case of black holes, the concept of wormholes was predicted by an Austrian physicist Ludwig Flaum while studying Einstein's theory of general relativity. Back then, it was called white hole and described the concept as the exact opposite of black holes, but subsequently its name was later changed, first to Einstein-Rosen bridges and then to wormholes. American theoretical physicist Kip Thorne and some of his colleagues have made several attempts to prove that wormholes don't exist, but so far their attempts have been unsuccessful. So in that sense, we can't say that wormholes only exist in our imagination. While we can say that black holes and wormholes have a contrasting nature according to every simulation that's been done in the field. The first one is incredibly lethal, and anything that's unfortunate enough to get too close to this monster is destined for doom. Be it a star, planet, asteroid, human, or spacecraft. Whatever comes across a black hole is stretched massively by the gravitational pull of the black hole in a process known as spaghettification. Remember, we described wormholes as a tunnel in the fabric of space-time that connects two points in space. Well, the tunnel in itself isn't dangerous to matter or objects that enter it. Rather, it is the matter or object that poses serious threats to the wormhole. Based on the most precise and latest calculations, wormholes could be fragile and tiny, meaning large matter or particles cannot pass through them. Also, due to their instability, the gravitational attraction of any matter or particle that passes through wormholes can shut the tunnel at any point in time during the journey. To avoid this situation, if we ever encounter one, scientists have to find a way to keep the tunnel stable. The theoretical answer has already worked out for this scenario. This can only be done with the help of exotic matter. Basically, it's a kind of matter that has both a negative energy density and a negative pressure or tension greater than its energy density. 
Much like wormholes, exotic matter is based solely on hypothesis, and they're said to violate the energy conditions of general relativity. But that's very contradictory, because the law of general relativity is the theory that led scientists to the discovery of black holes. Could it be that the theory is correct for black holes and wrong for wormholes? Even though it's not widely discussed or the hottest project at the moment within the science world, wormholes are similar to black holes in many ways. Both have an enormous amount of gravitational pull, and their existence is shrouded in a lot of mystery. So much that scientists haven't been able to fully understand them. Of course, their job is even harder when it comes to wormholes, as there is no feedback or data that could be compared with the theory. However, the math was spot on for black holes, and they are exactly like they were predicted to be. So there is a chance the same applies to wormholes. But come to think of it, what if a black hole meets a wormhole? As far as we know, nothing in the universe can withstand the gravitational force of a black hole. But wormholes suck in matter pretty hard as well. So which one would win this epic cosmic battle? Could it be that the wormhole would simply teleport the black hole to another part of the cosmos? Or would it become the victim of the black hole before it could do so? Cosmic researchers from two American universities had the same questions. And out of curiosity, they created a computer model to simulate what would happen if wormholes got into a nasty fight with black holes. For this simulation, scientists paired a black hole five times the mass of the sun against a stable, traversable wormhole 200 times the mass of the sun with a throat 60 times wider than the black hole. They found that the resulting gravitational waves from the black hole fades quickly as it radiates most of its gravitational waves on the other end of the wormholes. As the black hole continues its movement back and forth within the corridors of the wormholes, more cycles of chirps and anti-chirps are generated. As the sequence continues, the length of time between each chirp and anti-chirps shrinks until the black hole gets stuck within the wormhole. Scientists believe that this is one way by which the existence of wormholes can be proven later on. But it doesn't always play out this way because, as we mentioned earlier, wormholes could be shut as soon as they open, depending on the size of matter or objects that pass through them. The extreme gravity of the mutual singularities could cause the wormhole tunnel to immediately stretch and snap much more quickly than anything could cross it. However, if the shutdown would start at one end and traverse to the other, it would dump the black hole out the still open end. Note that if the process is messy, all matter could end up being broken down to subatomic particles on the way out. What would happen if something broke a black hole into subatomic particles? Well, nobody knows, but it would be a view, that's for sure. As for another possible scenario, if a large black hole collides with a smaller wormhole, a larger black hole would be formed. Alternatively, the black hole might increase the mass of the wormhole so much that the exotic matter might be lost. This would make the wormhole unstable, forcing it to shut all of a sudden. But as long as a wormhole has a greater mass than the black hole it collides with, it should remain stable. However, both objects are incredible and had their turn in sci-fi movies. Even Interstellar made some huge mistakes when it comes to space physics.